evening all and welcome back to Timberborn here with our iron teeth. Things are going okay, we're doing well, we got water, we got wood, we got food, everything's great. Um Yeah. We I left last episode with a question of whether we want to build more engines or we want to go with foot power for um our future production because Engines, as we figured out, use a lot of wood, like a lot of wood. You need 72 trees being planted, I believe was the numbers. Um, I'd have to go back and look. But yeah, I think it was 72 trees planted, maple trees planted to do it. Obviously, if you go with uh, pine trees, you need even more um, because uh, maple trees are four times more effective. So let me just double check it. Um, they take twice as long, but give you four times the amount of wood. So they are twice as effective because you get four wood out of that over 24 days you get eight wood so you'd have to plant 114 72 277 yeah 114 pine trees to keep up with one of these the other thing with this as well is that this engine runs all the time it runs permanently whether there's a worker in here or not um if you, if you kick a worker out um he'll just run all the time um so that's useful for, say, our carousel, when we get to that, because the carousel requires power all the time, requires power when beavers are um, on, when not working, because obviously they need to go onto the carousel to have fun. And also for our tribute to ingenuity. So I think we're going to save the engines for that, and we're going to go with foot power to start with. Now, I had basically even votes for engines and foot power, and one vote for wind power. Wind power is a folktail exclusive building. It doesn't you don't get any windmills on the um, on the iron teeth, so we can't go down that route, unfortunately. And wind power is a bit unreliable. It's a bit unstable. So, um, so yeah. So I think I mean, I'm gonna leave this for the minute, but I think I might actually destroy this and go back to foot power because foot power they only come and do the work when the building has workers in it as well so it's not like this this for half of it for well for four hours because it's only four hours they have off um just burns wood so this burns four logs every day for no reason i could manually turn it off and on um but yeah we'll, we'll just do that so we'll, we'll leave it for now and see how it goes um is there another comment about uh the river here um that we could build up along here uh, build some levees along here and read the river around the edge here and let it flow down and it would flow down into this area here and into this river here uh, giving us lots more green area over there that's true it could also flow down this way and give us green area over here that that is that is all completely true that would that would work um i don't really think we need to though I think when we do our our things here, we're, we're so close to explosives. I feel like the explosives will just work better. So we'll do we'll do this along here, and then we'll come along here and do something here as well. And it's uh, yeah, I feel I feel like explosives is just the better way to go. So let's put in our explosives. So to make explosives, we require a few things. We require an explosive factory, which needs 150 work power, and we need. A paper mill which requires wood as well so this is again another thing why if we build another engine to power this we'd have to have wood for the paper and for the engine and it's all yeah. so if we put four runners down to run the paper mill and the explosive factory they will run slightly under full speed because they're they require actually 220 and we're producing 200 but that's fine that's fine so I think we want to go down that route. So let's see here. So let's... Now, the paper mill is a bit of an awkward building um, because the... Uh, you can see you see it here. Right, if I pause the game, I can show you here. So um, uh, oh, there's the paper mill. Now, the paper mill can accept power from these two squares on the front, these two squares on the side here, these two squares on the back, but not here where the giant roll of paper is. So these four squares around here the one on the either side and two on here they can't accept power in here and it won't share power buildings from that side so you cannot plug power into that side at all 
Which makes it awkward. If you want to build two of them in a row, they won't share power. Because they can't share it through there. You've got to connect them up with, with uh, power poles in the back. So it, it's, it's just a little awkward, a little thing to remember that you need to do that. And the explosive factory will take power from any which way you want to do it. So I think what we're going to do is have the paper mill here. Put the explosive factory basically next to it. Like so, because it's very long and thin. And then we're going to put our wheels here. So we're going to do uh, power wheel one, two, and then just turn around and go three and four. We can't do that because we need to remove that tree there. So let's go to our choppy down guy and turn off all the trees. So we don't want you to chop down any trees again. Stop, stop chopping down trees. And would you be so kind as to chop down that one, that one, that one, but everything in that area, please. Okay. So that should help with that. And then we need to run a path um, along like this, down like that. There we go. And we need to put in uh, our power connectors in the center. So I want to set these to the lowest priorities because we don't want them built yet. And we want to set these to slightly lower priority than normal because we don't want the power wheels built before we actually build the connecting rods. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to build a connecting rod there. We want to build one there, there, and there. And then a T-junction on the end there. And the beavers will come and do that quite happily and do the things that they're doing. Um, and where are you? Where are you? What are you doing? You're, you're going home. Come on, we need you to work. We need you to, to, to do more. Come. Ah, he's going to drop down that tree there. Excellent. What we want. Then you're going to go and drop down that tree there. Not what we want. And then drop the other tree there, which is, is what we want. So, awesome. Thank you very much. So, uh, we want another, we want a T junction here because we're going to get power from either side and need to run it there. Uh, you've got the different intersections here. They're all pretty surface mandatory. You can run it straight, turn it, put a T junction in. Uh, you just have to make sure that everything is connected up correctly. Um, uh, like doing that, I mean, that would work. That would still run power through it. It's just that the connector on this side would not, would not connect, would not work. So. Okay, oh, and then what we want to do is we want to build a story. Um, I suppose we'll put the storage there. Yeah, that looks like as good a place as any to put the storage. And the storage will exclusively store explosive. So we're not storing paper anywhere, to my knowledge. Nope. So, speaking of which, how are we doing? We're emptying the berries from there and there. That's good. You're filling up with metal blocks. That's good. Metal blocks come down to explosives. Uh, we need we need metal blocks to build the explosives factory, so... Uh, we have plenty of planks. We have metal blocks. We have plenty. Okay, pause that before any berries come along here. No berry. Nothing is allowed here, please. And then we want to go explore explosives and we want to store all our explosives in here but there we go awesome sort right there we go right so you haven't got anything you haven't got anything because we're going to wait for those to be built first that's fine that's fine okay and you live close enough yeah, you live close enough to work there so you're fine enough to work here it's a fair distance to work in the morning but it's fine it's fine we'll get some explosives and we'll do things i may actually blow a path out the back here somewhere to let water flow down here as well haven't decided on that yet but the first thing we want to do is blow a path out here somewhere now i could put it in the middle i could put it on the end i haven't 
really decided which way to go. Um, I could put it here because water will flow through the diagonal space. So it will still flow down this way and then fill this river all the way down here. It will fill it very slowly, but that's okay because once it gets back to this point here, we will build up here. Now, I don't know how to build up here yet. I haven't figured out how to do that. We can build that one because we can build from there. Uh, apparently, beavers can build from four blocks down. Uh, I've been informed on previous comments, so thank you for, for, for mentioning that in the comments. They build, so that's what they were doing. They, they were somehow throwing the wood down at exactly the right places and then probably throwing the nails down as well and making it all fit together because beavers are wonderful, amazing, magical creatures. Um, they do wonderful, amazing, magical things. So, so, so we can build that one, but we can't build that one because we've got nowhere to get down there. Um, and I don't have the, um, I mean, a triple platform wouldn't work either because that's way too, 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 uh, too deep down there. I don't know how I'm going to build that one. I basically need to get into this river, um, which we can do. We could put a path here and then a path here, but I don't think any builder could get there. Because if we look at our place, see, this is all turning red here already. So we can't really get much further than that. Which is a bit of a pain. I must admit. This is actually one level higher than... What it's about. So we might take off the two blocks on the end here so we can put a bridge in across there. We could also put a bridge back here. That is the same level. So we could build one of these bridges here. going over that would work uh, I mean there would work we'd actually get over the over the water there um, but just so we could build a bridge here uh, pause the game a moment I can't do that we'd have to build Unfortunately, if I build there, we can't get the path out. It would have to be built there. Um, unless we blow up a block on that side there. Um, alternatively, what we could do as well is uh, we could grab our five-way bridge. Because three wouldn't fit, five probably would. So we could unlock that. And we don't have enough to unlock that. We'll, we'll look at that in the future. We'll see. We just want to get water in here first for now. See how it goes. So, um, building needs power. It's not going to get any power because that can't get any materials. It needs gears. How are we doing for gears? We're bad with gears. That's okay. We're making gear. See, this requires 120. It's going to get 100, so it's working slightly under speed. But it does still work. It just works slightly slower. Um, which is fine. Which is it's not really a problem. Uh, speaking of speed, um, social life does nothing for our beavers, so I'm not fussed about even filling that up. Um, is it ore that gives them working speed? I can't remember which one it is. Ore is working speed. Mass is walking speed. So we kind of want to get all one in place. It's a thousand science. We don't have the science for it. So, yeah, we need a bit more. Um, uh, also, right, let's get rid of these breeding pods. That one was just done. This one will be done very soon. Because we, we, I mean, our population isn't isn't exploding by any stretch of the imagination, but it will overfill our homes. It will carry on breeding over the homes unless you pause them. So I want to get rid of these two and just drop it down to two. Uh, we can always build more later. We can always add to it. Not a problem. Okay, there we go. Boom. So we want to get rid of these trees in here as well. Let's do that. So let's clear out all those and then say, hey, would you take out all those trees there, please? Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, there we go. Waiting on one more gear, fine. I could 
probably put a wood pile down here as well, so I don't have so far to go to fill the wood up, but I, mean, I don't think our wood piles are filling up anymore. You're 116. Are you off full? That's because this one's empty here, so we empty out all the ones from here over to here anyway, so it's more centralised. So that's fine, so that's a that's a fair distance from anywhere. That's okay. We have a dry season coming. That's also okay. I'm not fussed about the dry season. Um, this is all good. So yeah, so right. Hey, here we go. Here we go. Why is no one working that one? Come on, come come work. Come work. We need you to work. Um there's water down there which is not too far away from where you are. Food is a problem. But yeah. Okay, so you're producing paper. Paper is going into there. I think it is a one-to-one. -one. Um we tried on a, a one of the live streams um a three to two three explosive factories to two paper factories and it didn't seem like it was keeping up um, it's a little deceiving this works way faster and produces two paper but this requires three so this has to go three cycles for this making two cycle and this is slightly slower than that one so I think it balances I'm, I'm, I think that's what they've done internally it doesn't give you any timing as to how how much it takes so you can't get the exact time that it's going to be to do anything for it, so, um, yeah. I mean, I think that's right. I mean, this this has got to be paper. You've got nine paper in you, so you are actually gaining paper. Um, uh, and this could definitely do with actually having another worker in it, because it looks like we're constantly fighting to get enough workers into here. So, um... Let's do that, let's do that. Let's put a fifth one on here so that it, it, it sometimes gets overpowered, other times gets underpowered. That one in there, put a one in there. We will remove those. We'll put a power wheel on the end like that. Then we will connect the road back up around it like so. So this has got five now, so this is producing 250 and overall requires 230. Hopefully that'll be good. Hopefully that'll be good. We've got a central one there. We could build more barracks up here. I I don't know if beavers choose to live closer to their work or not. Um, I don't know how that worked at all. Um, I would assume so. That a beaver would, would move to a house that's got more. I um, mean, we've got some homeless beavers, so probably we need to look at some more housing. So um, let's have a look at the row house. I want to unlock the row house. Yes, it's a lot of science, but I want to unlock it because I just want to see what it's like. I want to see what it's like. So let's unlock the row house and let's see. So the row house is literally one thin and three high. And stores eight beavers. That's Is it three or four high? It might even be four high. Uh, yeah, I think it's four high. It's eight. It's one by four. So eight, sixteen. That's twenty-four. And these store twenty-four. Is that right? They store sixteen. So yeah. So that's that's that is really compacting your beavers in. That's cool. Okay, so we're gonna put some row houses down here because we can. Um. We'll stick one in for the minute. What is that? Just requires logs. Just requires logs. That is some really compact storage. Compact beaver storage. Compact living spaces, not storage. Beavers don't get stored. That's that's really wrong for me to say that. Uh, right, let's unlock dynamite. Ah, oh, we can. Yes. Oh. And then we'll put dynamite with a bit of explosives there. So what I'm thinking of is taking this and going down um we're triple platforms so we want to go down three deep with this 
Now the water itself is 1 deep and I want to go down 3 deep here because then that will keep all this area um, green even though the river has dried up because it's much deeper down, it's 3 down and then we'll put a platform in a triple platform in and then we'll do that uh, now we have dynamite unlocked actually can we put dynamite underneath these? we cannot so I can't put it underneath there at all which means we can't build it at all because every last block uh, we could probably block like that space and this space but but no okie dokie we have our first, first birthday cake there it is boom the birthday cake kaboom yay awesome 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 uh, and so we're just going to do that again and then again so that's one then two then three and we'll get the triple one can we unlock the triple one yet 200 uh we will we will and we'll get the triple one and put it in there just so we can store more water in that one area so if the river does dry up we've got a, another storage of water there we should be okay for it though because once this is clear we're going to move our pumps to here and they're going to pump out of this water for our own river usage um i am going to remove all these ropes down here I'm going to leave the paths in. Sorry, I'm going to leave the uh, uh, the stairs in so that a builder can still get down here. You know, like the uh, uh, bomb. Yeah, we can still see. We can still very clearly get down there to do things if we need to. Uh, but we're not actually just actually running down there for anything. There's no there's no path there, so beavers don't need to figure out how to path down to there. There we go. Could have just cut the top one off and left the rest, but yeah. Okay, second birthday cake. Kaboom! Pop. Open the third one in. We could go down even deeper. I mean, we could uh, go down as far as beavers can build down and then figure out because we can always put like two triple platforms in or two double platforms or whatever. I think we might do that. We might just dig down as far as we can go until it says beavers can no longer build dynamite here. Boom. So until it says beaver cannot gain access to this, we'll just dig down and then we'll figure out how to put the platforms on top. Because you can stack platforms, not a problem. Um, how is... Sleep is good. Sleep is all good. Okay, we haven't got to worry about sleep. That's okay. There's our, there's our house been built. Awesome. We currently have eight beavers in there. Did anyone move out of here? Yes, because these would have been full. So they moved out of here to here, clearly because they're, uh, uh, oops, oops, I did not pay attention to the, um, the water flow. Um, yeah, they moved out of there because they they work over here, so they obviously moved to here, which is awesome. Does mean the food storage is now not close to them, unfortunately. So we might have to do something else with that build, like a second food storage if we're going to have a second set of places for it. Um, okay, boom that one. And then build another one. Boom. Yep, you can still get to that one. Awesome. We might have to lower our water down again already. Um, wasn't paying attention to that. We all, we went way into the uh, detonate that one. Kaboom! Um, let's lower that down by one again and let some more water flow in. We might fly out here a little bit. Yeah, we wasted a little bit, but it's okay. Only a little tiny bit. And then we're gonna go into this again. Put another bit down there. And apparently beavers can still get to it. We're basically building a well. That's what we're doing. We're digging a well down. Um, now I think this won't work the way I expect it to. Because if the water isn't at the higher levels, it doesn't spread out as much. But it will at least keep some more water stored for us. Which is fine. Boom. 
another one. Yeah, we can still reach that one. That is quite a deep hole now. We can go under the ground and see. Um, you can lower the camera down through the ground. Yeah, so we've dug down one, two, three, four, five. Boom. Put another one in. Max won't let me do that because of the camera angles. That's fine. Yeah. Boom. Tick. They can apparently reach that as well. I'm not getting an error saying there's no no boot in it. Awesome. We're just going to dig down as far as this will let us go. Boom. And another one. Yeah, this is going to be one hell of a deep well. Awesome. We can tunnel to the center of the earth. Ah, see now this is the thing. See, it's run out of water, so it's only doing a little tiny bit in the center. Um, which is not exactly what I want, but it's more of an experiment here. I kind of just want to just, I just want to blow, go, I just want to go down as far as we can possibly go. I feel like that's uh, that's going to be a fun thing to do. Uh, boom. And again. And we can still go down even deeper. It's definitely more than four blocks. Be Beavers can throw dynamite down way far. <laughs> Can't detonate, it's too low. So that must be at the very bottom of the actual map, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the lowest floor on the map you can get. You cannot do that anymore. So we need to just remove that then. So we wasted a dynamite. That's okay, that's not a problem. So let's see how deep that actually is, shall we? So I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to build these, and I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. That's 11 deep. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, so beavers can dig down a long, long way. Let's unlock the triple one and put this in here. So one, two, three, that's nine. And then another one will go one too high. Yeah, so I've put a double one at the top. Oh, there we go. And that's our well. That's our well, which will be full of water. I'm hoping they can they, they can they can build the bottom one. It looks like it. It looks like they're building. They're reaching in there. They certainly can't build the ones above it until they build ones below. So, yeah, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Just going to require a couple of planks and yeah. So, it looks as if vertical building is not a problem for beavers. They can build as far up or down as they need to. Which is quite cool. It is quite useful. Very, very good to know. Okay, so let's pause the game here and let's have a quick look. So we're running low on carrots. We desperately need more carrots. So I'm going to put another carrot field in right here. Which means we want to get some water over here. How do we want to go about doing that? Um, well, first of all, let's put this up here. Uh, I mean, we could... Blow out this area here. We're going to move these. They're going to go down here. Let's do that. Let's let's let's, let's do that now. So they're going to go. I can't see. Um, they're going to go here. Um, damn it! There's some trees there. We also need to clear out that area in there. So I want to put one, two, three, four, five in there. So we need to clear out this area here, which is fine because we want more. We want more water storage anyway. So we will get the bomb disposal squad in. Uh, well, not disposal squad. We'll get the uh, the bomb planting squad in, and we'll block those, and then we'll blow them all the way down to to nothing. We'll put in a row of wells. Probably put a large water container here as well, um, just to store the water in directly from them, and then the water can be hauled off to wherever it needs to go to. Uh, and we could do with some more water storage because we're probably running out. Um, yeah, we're 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 not doing fantastic for water. Uh, we'll then, I think, blow this path completely clear here. We'll blow around this edge. 
all the way along here. Which that should allow this to become greener. Uh, we might also blow a little deeper, like just along the edge or something. We're going to put in like little little dot puddles, um, just to do it. Uh, if you if you do, um, we'll put in like a, a, a dynamite, say there, and that will blow a hole that's one deeper. We're not going to go as far as this one. This was just an experiment, but um, and then if the water runs out of the top level, it will be one level deeper. It won't expand as far as this. It will only expand a little bit, but it does still keep some water retention in the area. So you might lose some crops right on the edge, but then it's not so bad. The other thing we can do as well is blow this path out as well and put in water there. We don't need to go as deep as that one there. That was, as I said, that was just a little test experiment, but okay. So plan for the future. Let's put in our dynamite where we want to put it in. So we'll remove that path there. And what we're going to do is we're going to blow, uh, I'll probably go too deep here. Then we're going to put in uh, pods and blow and, and uh, have that too deep and find it. We're going to do that there, that there, so we can get the water up here. We're going to blow those up. And everything should be awesome from that point onwards. Hopefully that will let this get a bit greener on the end here. Uh, the other option as well we could do is we could always remove a row of trees and blow up the water along there, put another path in along there. Um, and then by blowing it all the way along to here, we get more area on the edge to put more trees in here. So we'll lose one row, but we'll gain much more trees in that area there. That could also be another way into here for the water, if we wanted to. I'm not sure about that. We might do that and go down to there, but we also, we also need to get across here. Um... Go across there. That's not where the, the actual the actual flow of water will be here. So we could get the uh I mean we could put that in and that in. That would be cool. I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that. I'm gonna destroy that one because we want to put a uh a bridge in there. Uh not a bridge in there, a um platform to put the bridge on because this is all going to be a platform and then water pouring out of there so that will be cool we'll do that awesome 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 so yeah that's the plan next time kaboom lots upon lots of kaboom awesome so we'll leave this one here we'll come back next time and uh, carry on from there thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this one and i hope to see you again next time and until then as always have fun